favorite episodes so far, whether it's out or not? All of them. All of my favorite, because I'm, I'm blessed to do it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. Yeah, I, I just, like I said, I enjoy seeing it now just to see you on that side of the table asking the questions instead of being asked the questions. Correct. And I've seen guests from what Jock, uh, who mm -hmm. all been on there? You, I know you were checking him out. Mama do. Mama D. Mama D. Mama D. Uh, Mama D, uh, who else? I got Michael Black. Michael, Michael Black ain't dropped yet. Drop yet. I ain't, ain't seen that DJ one. DJ Drama ain't dropped yet. Damn, I ain't seen that one. Yeah, DK but it was Metcalf another one, the Jackson yet. guy. Steven Jackson. Uh, Steven Jackson. Shout out to Steven Jackson. Um, man, it was, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. When I be saying, I be like, boy, some girl, it was on there, about, it said something about sex. What was that all Suki, about? Suki Yeah, Yama. I Suki saw Yama. that one. What was up with that show, man? Because oh, a lot of people man. said that, that it was a little different for you. Yeah, that was different. <laughs> they got to see a segment they had never seen before. But, you know, when I did that joke, the boogie eating joke. Yeah. Well, y'all done been to my show. Yeah, of I course. I tell that same joke on stage. Mm. Yeah. So it was just funny how it just came out, just the way it came out. And she was like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, let's get strictly entertainment, bro. <laughs> so, so, and, and. What's your favorite episode so far, whether it's out or not? All of them. All of my favorite, because I'm, I'm blessed to do it. You know, I could be in the grave. I could be in jail. I could I could be a paralegic. You know, I could be a lot of things, but I'm, I could, both eyes work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All my hands and toes work. I'm blessed to be able to interview these people and because they got a story of their own. And to come from where I'm coming from, from coming in here to our first interview with Broke than the Motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Had a vision, had a plan, but didn't know how I was going to execute it. And she, I ain't, I can't do nothing but be thankful. Um, Is I, there any story that you heard that um, you didn't know about? Because, you know, when you talk to people, sometimes, you know, you may have a couple of questions and you did your research, but things come out in interviews that you can't find nowhere when you do your research. Well, Suki Young, you know, I ain't going to lie. We all look at her as sex. We looked at her maybe thinking she was a hoe. And, you know, I guess how us men think, but she's mm -hmm. more than that. She's not that. She's totally opposite. Got a great brain. On her head, a businesswoman coming from nothing. Uh, of course, she's selling sex. I'm not mm -hmm. saying selling her body, but she's a great person. She, you know, so. A lot of these, I mean, there's so many women out here who are just like her. And, you know, I respect her grind and her hustle. So, so I got to Suki on her, man. Uh, I really respect her from the interview. I learned a lot about her. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, she's one of the women who, I like what she said. She like, she want to be submissive to her man. A lot of these days, these women don't want to be submissive. They want to do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? And um How hard is it for a man to find a submissive woman? It's probably hard. I ain't got that problem. But it's, it's probably <laughs> hard for him, man. For the ones who ain't got it, I pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, you know, when when you come from beans and rice, rice and beans, Pax. you know. And y'all ate out the can together. It's a little different. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm from the South. Yeah. That's what so, we're looking for. We're looking for somebody like our mamas that can cook and clean yeah, and, yeah. and then be nice in the streets, but a freak mm -hmm. in the bed. That's yeah. what we want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? So well, you that's know, a song. We, don't try to play me. That's yeah. a song. <laughs> uh, a freak in the bed. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a big yeah. holler. Yeah. That's a big holler. Yeah. Ooh, I used to love her. I did too, man. Love. She was the—I think she was the first one to really just let it all hang out about what she felt about how things were. That was the T-shirt and the panties and all hey, that let stuff. Me, man. Let me get say this. <laughs> Shout out to Tupac, man. I ain't know he used to dig a dinga high woman. I ain't even know that, but you know that nigga was slick. They said nigga was like Drake. He was. Man. They say Drake like that now. Drake is like that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> But that's good. I mean that he would date people and don't tell nobody. He did it on the slide. Well, not everybody, it though. I get not around. everybody got it. And I'm tired of people always putting their business out in the public, especially with the dating stuff. You know what you I mean? Certain what? things got to be. Well, secretive. you know, this younger generation they do that for clout. They do it to build their brands. If, if a chick messing with a dude, they gonna like and they gonna mess with her. They gonna talk about it, try mm -hmm. to have a ups on the guy or whatever. But what you think about? Um, and this is off that top. Well, I don't want, let me let me stay no, on that no, point. Let on, me talk on. about Tupac one more time. No, it's about Shout this. out to Shamaria <laughs> Faith Smith. Uh, uh, the Tupac fan in my house now. She ain't mm -hmm. but seventeen, and she gonna come out when we was watching Poetic Just. Oh, he fine. Wait a minute. Let me go and put like, you. She didn't say he fine like Damon did on Friday <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> she just was like, he, I, that nigga wild, man. Yeah. I just watched it. Watch on the couch. That nigga grabbed that couch. That nigga flexing his muscle. I'm like, Make this you talk gangsta. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.